Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Nux3 and Prisma. So what is Prisma? Prisma is an ORM, an object relational mapper, which means it helps you query your database easier than writing straight up SQL, right? So the way to do this is uh, you go to prisma.io, you go to quick, quick start, and then you say add Prisma to an existing project because what we're going to be doing here and I go down here. So you say, okay, NPM install Prisma save dev. We're going to be using yarn here. Okay, cool. So let's do that, right? When you download your Nux3 application, you just go to Nux3 and uh, follow the installation procedures. You're going to have this. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm going to go uh, to our folder here. Yeah, this is the wrong one. Go to this one here. I have all right. Um, so in your app, app.view, you have the Nuxt. Wait a minute, this is all right. Oh boy, I'm in the wrong app. Okay, you have your Nuxt welcome here, and we're just going to create our own pages here. So we're going to change that to Nuxt page, and then we are going to uh, have an index file here, which is the home page, and it's going to look like this. All right, under uh, we have server API there, which is uh, fine, but I'm going to delete this for now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is first we have to add. We're going to add uh, Prisma, right? So yarn add. Let me see what that said yarn at prisma i don't think we need to do that if we're in yarn i'm not sure but yarn at prisma let's do that get rid of that video too many apps running here okay yarn add prisma So that's going to download and then uh, I'm going to pause the video till it's downloaded. All right, it's completely downloaded and your Nux should start. Alrighty, so let's see what we need to do now. We have to say npx prisma init I can't find my stuff all right so it says npx prisma so let's run that command npx prisma so that did nothing i think what, what we need to do is run npx uh, prisma in it wait that's the wrong <laughs> that's incorrect come on now prisma in it like that See what that does. Okay, so this creates, and it tells you some information about here. What you need to do, you create an env file and your database URL. Okay, so Prisma will create a Prisma folder in there with schema Prisma. And this contains some information like um, your database URL and the provider it says Postgres SQL. We're going to be using MySQL here. So, and then you have your, in your ENV. If you don't have an ENV, it's going to create it for you, I believe. And then it has this uh, e your database um, connection URL. So, first of all, let's go and create a database, right? So, depending on what you using I want to be using XAMPP and I already have things 
set up here oh, but all you need to do is just create a database and then connect to the database that's all you need to do here I'm gonna just start XAMPP here have my SQL running on yeah 3306 uh, let's look at the admin here I'll host PHP my admin and we're just gonna create simple database here we're gonna call it um, I guess we'll call it Prisma All right, so that's done. And then when I want to connect to the database here, we're going to change things. We're going to go to Prisma schema. We're going to say this is my SQL like that. And then we're going to go to the env file and here we're going to change that to my SQL the um, user is going to be root that depends on your own database there is no password the server is localhost the port is 2306 and uh, we don't need oh yeah we don't need that that's for postgres and the database name is prisma alrighty so assuming that is Good and correct. What does it say here? Run Prisma DB pool to turn your database into a schema. Da, da, da. Okay. I like to run npx Prisma migrate dev. And what that should do is it's, it's going to create a migration and then sync, like connect to your database so you, you can start to add tables and stuff like that. Right, so let's try to run that. Let's see if it'll work if we have no we have no tables in our schema. Okay. All right, so we don't have any models in our schema, but it's the, the table is already in sync and all that is working. Okay. So as an example, let's copy this and just say, we're gonna create a simple model. And what a model is, oh, this is not working. Let me go to some other tables that I've, we've already built here. Uh, I'm gonna go to a, see here, go to Prisma schema. It's just as an example, I'm gonna just, copy this go back to our code we're gonna make this really simple we're just gonna call this uh, user actually yeah we'll call this user ID And then we'll have um, so user ID name. This is a string, and that's really it. All right. So a model just represents the table in your database. So this is going to be a model user ID in name string date created and you write this and update it at all right so now let's run that migration and let's try to run that again npx prisma migrate dev okay so what is asking now i'm going to just make this i hope you can see this it's asking for the name of, of, of a migration a migration is what you do when you want to make changes to a database it helps you track all the changes you've made so that if you make a mistake you can go back so we're just going to call this initial migration i think i think you can have a space here initial migration what cannot resolve oh we have to add yarn add prisma clients oh all right Maybe we should follow the rules here and not just hack things. <laughs> oh, 
All right, Yarn Add Prisma as client. But the migration ha has been created, and as you can see, it's right there. That's the migration that we created. And what that, if you look at the migration, it's actually SQL. So it created a table called user with an ID that is the, um, the primary key with a name, uh, date created, current timestamp, and updated at. All right. So it was saying it, it doesn't have the Prisma client in that we don't have the Prisma code to be able to uh, use JavaScript to connect to Prisma, you know. So now that's that's done. We should be ready now to just rock and roll here. All right, we should be good to go. So let's take a look at our database. And uh, I'm gonna go to, oh yeah, I'm gonna just refresh here. We're gonna go to the Prisma database. And as you can see, we have a users table here with ID, name, date created, and updated at. All right, so that means we are ready to now start using Prisma to connect to our database. All right. In the next video, we're, we're going to talk about how we can actually add data to the table and uh, edit and do stuff like that. Hope you like this video. Hey, if you want to get something for you here, let me see what we get there. Not that one. Not that one. It's this one. If you want a Nox 3 Tailwind Starter Kit that looks like this, that comes with pages, layout, a use head composable, a custom plugin, some TypeScript to help you get started on your journey learning Nox 3, just click the link be, be, uh, below this video and it shows absolutely free. It comes with a plugin that tells you what today's date is. And it, it looks like this. Let me sure I'm in the right place here. Yep, it looks like this. It comes with the layout and uh, with some plugins here and pages also to show you how um, Nux3 works with the pages and with components. Example components, so it can help you get started writing uh, a beautiful Nux3 application. All right, I hope you like this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. But hey, if you want a Nux3 Tailwind Starter Kit, click the link below. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video.